Welcome everyone and welcome to my new viewers. Hopefully you'll become subscribers. Tonight I'm making another one of Grandma D's specials. Uh, this is a round steak casserole. I've got a plate here and this is a quarter cup of just all-purpose flour. And this is one quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, ground. Two teaspoons of just regular table salt. I'm use my whisk, you can do whatever you want to get this mixed up, but we're just combining these together so that uh, we can coat the round steak. Right here is the star of the show. This is round steak. It's about one and three quarters pound of round steak, and it's about a quarter inch thick cut. So all you do is dredge it in what we just mixed up, like so. And I'll show you. We're going to take this over to our pot. This is my Dutch oven. I've got two tablespoons of olive oil and I've got it on about a six. So again, we're just trying to brown the meat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up for 20 to 30 minutes until everything is browned. It's been about 22, 23 minutes and you can see that I've moved the steak over, which is nicely browned, but also because I want to scrape some of this goodness up. This is about 14 and a half ounces, one can of beef stock. Round steak is a tougher piece of meat, so the reason I'm doing this is to help break it down. Even though this isn't from my recipe, I know what's going on. We're going to get these all tucked in here into the broth. I may even add a little extra. And I'm going to cook it for another 20 to 30 minutes. Alright, so I've added all the broth, or all the stock rather. Heat's still at about a five. I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to let this go for about 30 minutes. I really want to soften the meat now. There you go. The meat is cooking rather nicely and it's actually getting very really tender. You can tell just by to the tongs. So, time to add in two onions and four potatoes. I'm going to mix this around a little bit. And I'm going to cover this again and cook it for 35 minutes. Same temperature. It's been 35 minutes. Take it off. Obviously I have uh, stirred this up a little bit. I want to make sure that it was done. But this is how tender it is. I can literally take just a metal spoon and cut into the meat. So it is definitely ready. Scoop out a bit of Grandma's round steak casserole. Try this one out, let me know what you think. Otherwise, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, give me your comments below. Take care.